So the big race of the day, maybe even the big race of the week, is next, and it's the Punchestown Gold Cup. Mm, three miles and one furlong, and all the main contenders will be in this, except for the Cheltenham Gold Cup winner, Flashpoint, who's a non-runner. Now the top one is Old Lang Syne for Ryan Tamasebi, Bonjour for Paul Rhodes, G.I. Joe, Leon Van Rensburg, Gallagher Origin, Martin Lidham, Golden Miller, or Craig Allen, Golden Times, David Hooley, Master of Time, Joshua Sullivan, Monolith, Darren Thompson, Motown Man, David Hooley, Play Runner, Craig Allen, Rampant Lion, Alex Cherry, River of Dreams, Ryan Tamasebi, Size in Blues, James Shea, Spring Gate, Darren Thompson, Ultra Cool, Graham Clitterbull, Alger Flyer, Martin Leader, Master Leader, John Morgan, Florence Nightingale, Paul Rhodes, Glad All Over, David Robertson, Lexington, Ritz, Vinnie Gerrard, Lost on the Way, Joshua Sullivan, Scenario, Woodfire, Thomas Rogers, Special Cargo, David Robertson, Supreme Cara, John Morgan, Up on the Catwalk, Leon Van Rinsburg, that's it instead of the Gold Cup winner, and Whitstar Mayhem, Alex Cherry, called in and away then, all 26 of them making their way towards the first of the 16 fences that they're going to negotiate in this Punchestown Gold Cup. Last year's winner, G.I. Joe, will be hoping to go warm better on his bid to get the double. He didn't quite manage the double at Cheltenham, winning it last year and coming second this year. And this year he's going to try and go warm better in this one and take the two of them. But they're racing down towards the first, and Ask the Leader is out jumped by Springgate, and those two have quickly gone five lengths clear of Monolith, who is in third. Size in blues wide on the track is probably just about showing forth. But it's Springgate and Aster Leader racing down towards the second, and they look like they're not hanging about those two. As the rest of them get over it nicely and jump in well at the moment. Scenario Woodfire, probably just the back marker. But Springgate and Aster Leader into fence number three. And also, if you have that one as well, the Scenario Woodfire made a bit of a mistake at the back, maybe finding the pace just a little bit hot then. And it is a hot pace being set by Springgate and Aster Leader as they race towards fence number four. There's an eighth length gap then to Florence Nightingale and Motown Man and Monolith, who are virtually three in a line. With River of Dreams after that, Old Lang Syne is not too far away. Alger Flyer and the Orange Jacket as they take number four. And over number four, they go, oh, there's a four, G.I. Joe's gone. G.I. Joe's gone, the last year's winner is out of the race a fall at the fourth and major surprise there then as G.I. Joe departs the race the rest of them get to the next ditch as the collective gasps go around the stand and everybody is bewildered as to how G.I. Joe has managed to be out of the race so early on and it's Springgate who's in the lead from Aster Leader in second, Florence Nightingale is third, then Old Lang Syne is fourth, Motown Man is after that one, then Ultra Cool and Golden Times and Bonjour and then River of Dreams and up on the catwalk. But they're making their way up the straight now. The stands still somewhat shocked by the departure of G.I. Joe as they take that next one and Springgate has now gone on by about three lengths to ask the leader who's just settled down in second. Florence Nightingale is back in third, then comes River of Dreams in fourth. Old Lang Syne's stable mate is wide on him, and then comes Ultra Cool, and then Bonjour and Motown Man, really wide on the track, Supreme Cara and Alger Flyer, as we see them from a different angle then now. But Springgate, no matter which angle you look from, is still three lengths clear of Ask the Leader in second, who's got a similar distance up on Florence Nightingale, then River of Dreams and Old Lang Syne and Super Cool as they get over the next. And over that one they all go, and the rest of them are still all on their feet, just the one faller so far. And that was the red-hot favourite G.I. Joe, but it's Springgate in the lead from Ask the Leader in second. Gap back to Florence Nightingale and River of Dreams in Ultra Cool and Old Lang Syne and Bonjour and Monolith as they take number eight. And over that one they go, and Ultra Cool's gone this time, so Ultra Cool is out as well now. So two down as they make their way towards the next fence with Springgate in the lead. This is the ninth of the 16. And over that one they all go and Old Lang Syne's gone! Old Lang Syne's gone as well, would you believe it? The two most fancied horses in the race are out and this is wide open now and as they take that ditch fence number 10 and Old Lang Syne and G.I. Joe both fall as Ryan Tamasem was only saying the other week that it hadn't fallen yet this season and he was convinced it was going to do it in the Gold Cup it did its best to do it in the Gold Cup but didn't but today it did and it's out of the race along with G.I. Joe so 
the three wild crown is up for grabs in this race and it's springgate who's currently got one hand on that trophy with ask the leader back in second as they come down to this ditch springgate landed in front the rest of them streaming over it with ask the leader second florence nightingale third then river of dreams then alja flora motown marilyn bonjour up on the catwalk special cargo size in blues in golden times and master of time rampant line is after that one then gallagher origin then lost on the way and plague runner as they take the 12th and over that one they go and they're suddenly inside the final mile and they've only got a few more fences to take four in fact and ask the leader has now taken it up ask the leader it's over in the lead gets away from it well springgate just starting to struggle a bit in second florence nightingale still going well alger flies going well as well here comes lost on the way on the outside sizing blues is getting into it motown man is still there so's up on the catwalk Golden Times is being driven up to take a challenging position. River of Dreams is still there. Rampant Line is coming round nicely round the outside as well. This is a wide open race, this one. And they're coming down towards the third from home. And Springgate suddenly got a second win, but didn't jump that very quickly. Ask the leader got over it better. Ask the leader's in front. Here comes here comes Rampant Line right up the centre of the track, being chased by Plague Runner. And it's now all changed. Ask the leader being chased by Rampant Line. Plague Runner as well. They come down towards the second. That's the final ditch. And over that one they go. And suddenly Plague Runner hits the front. It's Plague Runner who's gone on from Master of Time, who's come through into second as they swing round into a straight. Then now it's just one more fence to take. It's Plague Runner in the lead from master of time ask the leader here comes golden miller rampant line is still there so is monolith and size in blues down towards his final fly then it's all going to come down to the jump i think it's plague runner in front master of time rampant line is still there in third also special cargo is beginning to run on as well they're coming down now towards this final fence and it's plague runner on the inside master of time closest to us they land together master of time just about getting into the lead finishing what is lost on the way but it's master of time on plague runner into the final furlong it's master of time in the lead plague runner is trying to fight back Monolith is black in third, but it's Master of Time who's just hanging on at the moment. But now one last lunge from Plague Runner, and Plague Runner starts to go away. And Plague Runner, I think he's going to take it. Special Cargo finishing well, but Plague Runner was the winner. And Special Cargo may have got up to take second. And another exciting finish. And Plague Runner it was that took it. I think Craig Allen probably thought his other one was better, but Plague Runner's taken it for Craig Allen. He won't mind which one's won as long as one of them did. Master of Time for Joshua Sutherland was second. Special Cargo for David Robertson was third. Ask the leader for John Morgan was fourth. And Rampant Line, consistent as ever, was fifth for Alex Cherry.